What's up you guys, it's King. You've seen the title already, so let's just get into it. For this one, I'll be drawing Ichigo from Bleach. If I'm using a reference like I am here, I'll take a close look at the colors used as well from the different shades and I'll see if I have anything close to them. From there, I'll make marks on a separate paper with each color I'm going to use from dark to light in order to make sure I know how hard I need to press down on the page. If I don't have a color close enough, I'll take a color darker than it and another color that's lighter and I'll layer them over each other until they reach close enough to the color I'm looking for. Then I'll write a note to help me remember how I got that color. For the hair, I was lucky enough to have a shade of orange close enough to match, but I noticed that there was a mix of yellow blended into the white areas as well, so I grabbed a yellow that would just be barely noticeable in comparison to the orange so that it matched the original picture. Next, the skin was a mix between two shades of beige that I had and I decided to go the extra mile and grab a gold as well so I could make the shaded areas just a little darker. This was the most difficult part because I had to make sure I kept the pencil pressed down the exact same way through the large area that the color takes up. And I'm sure you see the spots that I made a little darker unintentionally. But anyway. The horn was pretty simple. I just grabbed a silver and I made it darker on the outside of the horn. Last, the red and black aura that takes up most of the picture, I ran over the outline with a red marker because I figured that it would be a bolder color that popped. Then I went over that and I blended it outwards with a red color pencil so that it mixed with the other colors and made it just a little more smooth. The black part, then I just filled in with a black sharpie. I would have used a color pencil, but I felt it wouldn't give the same impression of a deep dark void like the picture did. But yeah, that's how I color all of my drawings and the thought processes that go into them. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later this week for another speed drawing, but enjoy the rest of the video. Hang out.